Hello everyone, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a section view in Drafting Workbench in NX application. In NX Drafting, we have five methods in order to create a section view. The first method is going to be simple section view and next step section view. And the third one is half section views, a reward section view, point to point section view. So these are the five methods of creating a section views. I'm going to use this model in order to create all the section types and I'll just show you how we can create it. So let's go to the drafting workbench. So you can see here, this is the model. Now I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drafting workbench by hitting control shift D. So once I hit control shift D, you can see it is asking me to choose the sheet. I'm going to select A1 and I'll just click OK. So now this is the sheet. Now in order to create any section view, we just need minimum one base view is required. So I'm going to create a base view here. Let me select a two is to one. So I'll just place this view over here. Okay. So now let me close this. So this is the base view we have. And for this one, we are going to create a section view. So first we are going to discuss about a simple section view. So we'll just go to section view here and I'll just reset the particular window. And now we can see the first method is simple or stepped. Okay. So in this one, as soon as you select a simple, you can see this horizontal section line. So we just need to position this where you want. So suppose if you want at the center of this circle, so I'm going to place it over here. So once you place, uh, you have an option now to select whether you want a vertical section or a horizontal section. So if you go along right side, it is going to create a vertical section. And if you go either top or bottom, it is going to create a horizontal section line. Suppose if you want to choose it, you can see here the placement, it is hinge. So you can just change it to horizontal. It is going to give only horizontal section views. And suppose if you want a vertical, you can just choose the vertical. Okay. So suppose if I place it here, this is going to be our simple section view. Now, suppose if you want to create a same simple uh, section view along vertical. Okay. So just go to simple uh, section view and then select the same center point. And now we can choose this or this. Okay. So now it is going to create a section view along this direction and now if you can see here the weaving angle is downward and here it is right side suppose if you want to switch this just double click on this section line and go to reverse this cut direction and you can just close this and it is going to update so you just need to right click and give update it is going to update the view okay so this way you can able to create a simple section view so now let's move on to stepped section view so I'll just delete this. Okay. Go to section view and select a simple or stepped section view. So here what I can do is we have to select the center of the circle. Say for example, I'm going to select this center. Okay. So once you select, it is automatically going into specify the location. Okay. We don't want to specify the location because we are creating a stepped section view. So what we have to do is we have to switch back to this section line segment and you need to select the points again okay so here this is my going to my second point and this is going to be my third point so once you select all the points you need to switch to specify location and here you can put it over here or else suppose if you want to make it as a vertical section view so just go to vertical and you can just place it in this way you can able to create a stepped section view so now let us move on to the next method that is a half section view so let's go to section view here and select a half okay so this is going to create a half of the model so now we need to provide a circle so we, i'm going to select this circle and you can see this handle so now we have to define where you want to cut the half of the particular model so now either you can just choose this circle or you can just choose this particular point so that it will be aligned. The vertical line should be aligned. Suppose if you want to move it on the right side, so you can just move it to the right side. So right side will be cut will be created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and now we can just move this 
the way you want and you can just create a section view so now you can see particular this section has been removed suppose if you want to reverse the direction so just go to reverse this and you can see this side has been this side the section has been created so now this model is not updated so how you are going to come to know whether this model is updated or not so if you see here this section view so view is out of date so you can just right click here and give it give it as an update okay so it is going to update the model so this way you can able to create a half section view so now let's move on to a revolved section view okay so so in this one you need to pick a center point and we have two legs here so suppose if i select this point and now you can see here specify leg one location specify leg two location okay so this you can able to specify it so now i want to make it horizontal but i don't have anything to select here so how you're going to select this point here so in order to select this what i'm going to do is i'll just go to this particular snap options and switch on this quadrant points okay so now i'm able to pick this point and now we need to specify the leg two location so either you can select this point suppose if you want to show this circle or if you want to show, show this circle you can just select this circle and we need to place the view now either on the top or bottom so we'll just select this and you can click ok so this way you can able to cre create a a revolved section view so now let's move on to the last option that is point to point section view so point to point is very rarely used because it will create a lot of confusion for the one who is going to read the drawing so let's go on to section view here and we'll just go to point and in this one first we need to give the hinge line direction so i'm going to give this line and now we need to specify the location so you can see here this location i'm going to pick and this is the second and this is the third okay so this is going to be point to point we are going to define the point again if you have one more point on this right side you can just pick it okay so now once all the points are selected you can go to specify the location and you can switch on the create folded i will just show you how what is the difference between the create folded view or or unfolded okay so i'm going to create it on this way okay so this is the one point to point section view so i will just go to section view again and i will just specify the same points okay now you can see c and d is overlapping here so same section view i have selected but this time i'm going to switch off this folded view and i'm going to place this at this location so now you can see the view for this one is folded so it, the model is going to be folded and it is going to give the view the model is unfolded and it has been given a view so this is the difference between the folded and unfolded and the way how we can create a point to point section view so these are the five different uh, section views we can able to create in an x drafting so if you have any doubt please comment in the section below i will try to answer your question thank you guys